Sierra Henry here of TSUSports.com, and today we're going to go talk to Kevin Granger, the new interim VP of Texas Southern Athletics. And today we're going to get the inside scoop of his plans and goals and also talk about the new AD Legends Club. Mr. Granger, you're from Scuba, Mississippi, a city with less than a thousand people and moving to Houston, the largest sports city in the country. What was your initial reaction and like, how did you adjust? Well, uh, my initial reaction coming to, you know, the mighty Houston, Texas, thankfully I had a lot of people or there were a lot of people already on the team from Mississippi. So it gave me a better comfort zone. You know, when I came up here on my recruiting trip, I got a chance to see other people, you know, that's from Mississippi, because Coach Marlin is from Mississippi. So he recruited a lot of people that was from Mississippi. So they allowed me to adjust, and it didn't just blow me away as right. probably would have if I if I didn't have them around. Right, just up and moved out here. So you had teammates, you had coaches support, so it was easier. Yeah, it was an easier transition. Now it was a transition, as you said, coming from Scuba, Mississippi, who was we were a very small, you know, town coming to Houston, so it was an adjustment, but I was able to make it through their help. Right. So talk to me about your journey from like, you used to be an athlete here and now you're interim VP of athletics. Well, it, 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 it's a transition, you know, it's, it's a transformation if you want to say. You come in and at the time when I came here to Texas Southern, or when I signed on to Texas Southern, my whole mission was just to play basketball. I had no idea or anything that one day I would be in this role. You know, I couldn't have saw that coming down the line. But, you know, I think if you, you know, you do the things you're supposed to do, you know, you treat everybody fairly, you work hard, and then other opportunities can happen for you. So you are a pretty good basketball player out here. You got to tell me about it. You got to tell me all about the championships and everything you almost won well I wouldn't say I was a pretty good basketball player I would say I was a great basketball player okay. you know <laughs> yeah, uh, you, there's very few people that can leave is able to leave the country and score Harry Machine Gun Kelly was you know here and he led the country in score in two seasons then I followed him and I led this country in score in one year so I in the history of the school it's only been two people you know that's from Texas Southern to ever lead the country in scoring so that is a pretty amazing you know feat in itself so to get to the championships we were fortunate when I was here to win two championships uh, we called it back to back we uh, won and was able to play Duke in the NCAA championships then the following year we were able to play Arkansas you were also a coach at Worthing High School so when I was at Worthing I coached basketball okay. and we were pretty successful over there at Worthing as well how did you come into that position? You just, they heard you were so great and so amazing. They wanted you over there coaching. That well, I, I, uh, Coach uh, Ronnie uh, Evans was the principal then. He knew my background here at Texas Southern. So when I stopped playing professional basketball, I started coaching over here with Coach Moreland. And then as I stopped, I mean, Coach Moreland obviously, you know, was let go. And then I went to Worthing High School and became the head coach over there. Have an amazing story. We gotta catch up and talk more. Obviously, I didn't know as much about you as I should have. <laughs> That's a shame on your part. You it gotta do so research gotta when you come. Better. When you come talk to the VP of Athletics, who's homegrown, born in at Texas Southern University, born and raised. That means now you got the opportunity to do a lot of research, so you can have know all the ins and outs and have the knowledge. So when you come talk to me, I got you. Thank all right, you. you're more than welcome. In this position, what do you see for Texas Southern Athletics for over the next few years? Well, as you know, just becoming the newly appointed interim athletic director or interim VP of athletics, I envision all of our programs accelerating. You know, traditionally we have done, you know, pretty well in basketball. We're coming off a championship in baseball and a championship in bowling. So over the next couple of years, our goal is to get all our programs where they are up and running and competing for championships. So do you have any other plans to add any other facilities to the program? Yes, as recently, you know, our students or our SGA government was able to pass a resolution to actually bring football back to the campus. So we are really, really excited about that new project. 
and we're behind it because everybody knows, you know, when you play football, you want to play it on your campus so you can get your community behind it, your fan base behind it, and things of that nature. We also, we have a wonderful facility here that we have, have an opportunity to be in and looking over. We're looking at making upgrades to it as well. And then we want to create or continue that plan on down the line and add softball facility and then look at baseball as well. Speaking of the football facility, how much, like what are the big steps that it's going to take to make that happen? Well, we got to get support. You know, you got to get your alumni involved and you got to get not just your alumni, the community, friends, family, everybody. You got to have everybody involved. To, it takes that to build a stadium. I think the students, the um, resolution was the first step. And now the next steps will be unveiling and keep rolling them out. But we're going to need everybody involved to actually build a stadium on the campus. What do you think that timeline is going to look like? What are we looking for? It's nowhere. It's, it's not a project that's going to be done in a year or two. It's going to take some time, you know, because we're basically, you know, kind of relying on a lot of help to actually get the stadium built. So as those funds come in and we start getting those commitments, and then we'll start to see steps, you know, develop. You've started a new club for the alumni, the AD Legends Club. Tell me exactly like what it is. Well, it's if you look around other programs or other facilities, other organizations, other schools, they already have plans or, or things like that in place. And here at Texas Southern, we wanted to make sure we, you know, got up to par in what we're trying, we were trying to do. Uh, a lot of people uh, from time to time, they help out and they do a little here, a little there, and we just, you can't see the impact, you know, small things here, small things there. So we wanted to put together something that everybody could join and we could put everything together so now we can make a bigger impact on helping our student athletes out. And the AD Legend Club is just that. You, you actually, you know, you get a chance to join the AD Club, mm -hmm. which is the Athletic Directors Club, and it gives you an opportunity to do a lot of things and be a part of athletics. So you also feel connected. Right. You know, it's kind of you buying into your school or your athletic the program and then you're helping it out. All right. So what are the significant things that like what do they get with that? Like memberships and tickets, season tickets? Yeah, you get season tickets, you get merchandise. It's a it's a it's a lot of different things that's actually up under the package. You get special parking, your own email list. You know, I might get an opportunity, some of the bigger ones, you get an opportunity to travel. You also get opportunity as, you know, we got alumni uh, men's basketball, as I said, was just one of the people that won a championship. You also may get an opportunity to get a ring, you know, the same one that they're getting. So it's a lot of things that encompass or come with the uh, program, uh, with the uh, plan that you decide to go under. It's just depending on which one you are, that you go on. If you go on our website, you can see all the different, you know, you know perks, as you mm -hmm. want to say, that comes with the plan. So we're excited about it, and hopefully the alumni get excited too.